I have noticed two things. Number one, student engagement. The students are, they're really involved because they can be, feel more comfortable standing or sitting. So they have options in that. They have options on moving up to the front of the class, to the back of the class, whatever they need. And the second one is um, test scores. I've noticed uh, my higher, my GT kids in my pre-IB class, I've noticed that my higher level kids are performing even higher than normal. And uh, my lower level kids are also performing higher as well. So being able to focus more in the classroom translates to um, better comprehension of the material so that when they do take the test, they're able to remember it more um, because they've been more engaged with the learning of it. And I've noticed um, data-wise, there has been an increase from the beginning of the school year till now. I have a, another teacher here who has sit-down desks and he has similar students and his test scores are running five to 10 points below mine. Um, and then again, he also has, I think he might have more students that are special needs in that class in terms of 504s or, uh, but I, I have more ELL students than he has. So kind of, it, it kind of may even out a little bit, but um, I've, I've noticed that the test scores compared to other teachers, I'm performing as well and usually better than other groups. Five to 10 points is a large percentage yeah, difference. Um, so it, it stayed pretty steady and they were closer at the beginning of the year but the, they widened about the third formative assessment in and have stayed pretty steady. So I can compare my data to last year's data and my data from last year comparing similar groups because I've, I've taught regular and I've taught the pre-IB which is our kind of our GT classes. Um, I've taught both of those in the same proportions last year and this year and I've had higher scores this year than I did last year. We're a data-driven school, so data drives what we do. I mean, that, that's how I know if my students understand the material. I, that's how I know that if there's something I have to go back and reteach, uh, what I need to do better to reach them. So data has to drive everything. And so that data is critical, and we do look at data. I'm, I'm one of our data specialists, so <laughs> that's why I'm always interested in the data. I'm pretty much teaching the same, I, I mean, we have the same material every year. Um, and I, I've changed it slightly because we, I'm using these in a more engaging way than I have been able to before, but a lot of the activities I do are very similar to ones I did last year. So I don't know that it's a curriculum shift so much as it is the desks have made an environment where it's easier to reach the students, either through subtle curriculum shifts that allow them to be more active or actually them being able to stand up and move around and be more active and engage themselves. It's the being able to interact with material and, and being able to move around the classroom, I think is a big part of it. It's, it's really about helping the students be more successful.